Hello and good morning. Welcome to my class. So today we are going to discuss estimation, rounding off, using compatible numbers. So are you ready? Let's begin. Before we jump right into our real topic for today, let's practice how to round the first. For example, 123. What if the question is, round this question to the nearest tens? Oh, nearest tens. So what is it going to be? It's going to be 120. But what if the question is round it off to the nearest hundreds? So this is tens. This is hundreds. Oh, nearest hundreds. So it's going to be 100. Because 2 is in the lower part of the number range. So 23, 100. And if you, if you convert it into a nearest tens, it's going to be 120. Understood? All right. Let's proceed now. Hi right, class, let's proceed with the question one or example number one from your book. So let me read it for you. Estimate the product of 29 and 19. It is, is the estimate greater than or less than the actual product? It's not just a matter of yes or no. We really need to identify the compatible numbers for this question and estimate it. Okay, so first, what you're going to do is to convert this number to the nearest tens or round it off to the nearest tens. So, what is the nearest tens of 29? Yes, you got it right. It's 30. How about 19? Yes, it's 20. Now, we are looking for the product. Product meaning we have to multiply. Multiply it like this. Okay, so now, is it easy to multiply this number? Of course. 30 times 20. Yes, you're right. 600. 600. Now, the question there is, is the estimate greater than or less than the actual product? The answer for that question is yes. Yes. Because class, if you multiply these two numbers, you will get lower results compared to 600 which is we rounded off to their nearest tens, 29 to 30 and 19 to 20. Much easier to multiply, right? Do you have any questions? All good? So I'll proceed to the next question then. All right, example number two. Let me read it for you. Estimate the sum of 8.95, 7.23, 11.42 and 6.89 by rounding to the nearest dollar before adding. So this is really easy for us, right? Class, we know how to do this. So first, 8.95. What is the nearest dollar for 8.95? Hmm. Yes, you get it right. Nine dollars. Nine. Dollars. Don't forget the dollar. Don't forget the dollar sign. Huh? Next, seven point twenty-three. Yep, it's seven. What about? Oh, let me fix that. There you go. What about eleven point forty-two? Yes, it's eleven. All right, there you go. And last is 6.89 oh, we know it not we know it like this six we're gonna make it seven now we are looking for the sum if the question is sum we need to add it 
So, 9 plus 7 plus 11 plus 7. Now, let's solve this. 9 plus 7 is what? 9 plus 7, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 16 plus 11. 16 plus 11, we will have 16. Then uh, we will have 7. 1 plus 1 is 27. 27 plus 7 what is 27 plus 27 we will have 34 dollars is that our final answer yes our final answer is 34 dollars any questions on okay all right class let's move to the next level Huh, next level. All right, let me read the question. Estimate the perimeter of this rectangle. Now, let me ask you, what is the formula to get the perimeter of a rectangle? You remember it? Yes, you're right. It is P. P is equal to perimeter. This is perimeter, huh? P is equals to 2 times the length plus width. Length plus width. Okay? Now, what is our length here? Oh, let's convert them. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Let's round them off first. So, round them off to the nearest tens. So the nearest tenths of 78 is 80. And the nearest tenths of 31 is 30. Don't forget to copy the unit. Plus, I suggest you copy this in your notebook as well. Okay? So now, let's recopy the formula which is 2 times length plus width p is equals to 2 times up oh, what is our length our length is 80 80 plus 30 mm. now let's solve it p is equals to 2 times what is 80 plus 30 what is 80 plus 30 class yes mm. we got 110 now solve what is the perimeter or the final answer 2 times 110 yep you got it right to 110 110 times 2 is 220 okay don't forget to write the unit which is millimeter is that our final answer yes you got it right the perimeter of this problem is 220 and that is the estimate as well do you have any questions is it easy or too hard tell me okay i'll see you later